going on prehistoric crew I'm out here up in the crown land area in Ontario pretty much uh, the closest crown land I can get to about three and a half hours from my place I'm not quite at my my uh, parking spot yet I just came out to check out the lake here you can see there's a few cottages and things so this is yeah I won't say the name of the lake but Anyways, this is the lake. I'm gonna drive around that way, that way. And down at the other end is the the stream, I think that feeds this lake. Uh, this is where it leaves, but it's a much smaller kind of creek over that way. Uh, there's a sign here saying no camping within 200 meters. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going just wanted to stop and say yeah I'm out here kind of on a personal retreat I'm doing a solo camping trip just an overnighter uh, you know something like 30 hours maybe um, yeah I won't be filming much it's more for myself and less for the the channel but I do want to you know update a few things along the way and just kind of share some of the scenery that's out here because it's going to be pretty great. All right, catch up in a bit.
Well, it's only five o'clock. It's getting kind of dark already. It looks a bit lighter on camera actually, but within the half hour, it'll be dark. The sun is to my right over there. Sunset. Yep. Yeah. Got a nice fire going. Decent stack of logs kind of drying out beside. Took a while for to get this fire to catch really big. All the wood's pretty wet. It's been raining a lot recently. I caught a couple days with some good weather here. You know, sunny, well, cloudy. Uh, today, you know, it was supposed to kind of snow, rain a little bit around noon, but I don't think that happened. I got in around 1, 1.30, much later than planned, so this day was pretty much just about getting set up, and I managed to do that. I got my tent, tent set up, everything inside, heated up some coffee, and I'm about to heat up some pork, pork tenderloin that my wife and I cooked up yesterday, make a couple sandwiches, have dinner, chill out for a little bit, but uh, this is going to be a fairly early night, and then I'm planning to wake up to catch the sunrise, which should happen over in that direction. Should be nice. Anyways, I think that's the that's the last little bit I'll film for tonight. Just gonna sit here and stare at the flames for a while. Always my favorite part of camping out. I didn't bring any, you know, flint napping or other activities with me. I just planned to hang out and, yeah, watch the fire, do a bunch of thinking. And that's about it. All right. Catch you all tomorrow. This video does not do this experience justice. There are no words to describe the sight. The feeling, realizing it's a full moon tonight. Looks like it. I had no idea. I just picked the day based on the weather. Couldn't have been more perfect. The look of that, you know, moonlight glowing off the frozen lake here, it's just something else. This shot kind of does it justice, but I wish you could see it in person. It's beautiful. Very peaceful out here so quiet. This here looks like a beaver tried to down this tree at one point and gave up. Although it did get those ones over there. Over there. Yeah, it gave up on these ones and then the tree healed around the wounds and continued to grow. Pretty impressive. Look at the wounds on that thing. The callus is crazy. It's 
still bark in there. It's somewhat fresh. A few years old anyways, at least. Pretty gnarly. It's the next day now, around 10.30 in the morning. I'm actually all packed up and ready to go. Didn't really feel like filming anything this morning, just enjoyed the sunrise from the tent. It came from over there, but you know, it wasn't anything too spectacular. It was pretty cloudy, so couldn't really see it. It just started getting brighter. But yeah, really nice morning. Had one of the the local property owners walked through and we had a good chat. You know, pretty much as I expected, I'm a little bit too close to some private property. I am on Crown Land, but it's, you know, pretty much the first little bit of Crown Land you can get to when you drive north. So this was just a, a quick little recon trip, more or less, to, you know, get a lay of the land. He gave me some good tips for where to check out next time. Maybe I'll do that sometime in the new year. But yeah, for now, that's it. Yeah, as always, thanks for joining me. Catch you next time. Cheers.